Put your medicine in. I like your bow tie. On the back. Good old two dollar shop. Grab some pins. So it's about half an hour to the start. Um, was there going to be some sort of race briefing at 11.30? Yeah, 11.30, so we've got two minutes, I think. There's a bit of a line up for the toilet. I do. It's from night. Okay. But he can't. I really hope you, you enjoy how we've done the village this year. I'm pretty stoked we've been able to fit everyone in the same space that we did last year, just a little bit more practically. Um, look, we've got some amazing runners here. We've got so many um, countries represented. Give us a hoi if you're from Venezuela. Hey. We've got someone here from Colombia, representing Colombia. Yeah. Um, look, we've got uh, people from, from uh, I think there's about 15 different um, nations being represented. So um, thanks very much for supporting this. Good luck in um, trying to achieve your, your, you know, your, um, your targets and good luck trying to you know, climb the ladder of, of the respective um, countries that you're looking to represent. Hey there, so it's a few days after the Front Yard Ultra and I'm still pretty tired and recovering. I didn't have super high expectations because a couple of weeks before the race I had to have a skin cancer cut out of my scalp and a skin graft so I was out of action running for um, pretty much the two weeks before and I was under strict orders um, from the specialist uh, to do no extreme running until pretty much the day before the event. So I had tested out a little bit of running and I knew my head would be okay and it was healing well enough. So um, that was good, but obviously not ideal lead in when you have to stop two weeks out before. Um, my plan this year was to run with a bit quicker so that I would have a 15 minute break. And John and I tested that out Pretty much the day before I had surgery, I um, did six laps and we were doing them in 45 minutes and I was finding my heart rate was low and I was feeling really good. And so we'd agreed that that was going to be the plan. So we did pseudo cream on the toes, sunscreen, because it's pretty sunny. Um, what else do we need to do before we get started at the last minute? That's it. That's the main thing, we've got all <laughs> set up ready to go just relax now so you got your list of um, items that you want each hour which you need to I need, pay attention to I need to actually read yes. is there anything that do you think needs changing or is it look you happy just, with that um, if there's good food at the aid station get me some of that <laughs> okay so there might be some aid station food instead of what we've, what like what we've brought around. yep Yeah, this is the most excited you'll be for the whole thing. Three, two, one, yeah! So what are you doing for pacing? I'm gonna try and run at six minutes a pace and then um, walk a little bit. So overall about 6.30. Yeah, so you're doing... So get about a 15 minute break. Yeah, so do about 1K and then 100 metres walk? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so try to get 45 minutes, 15 minute break. Yeah. So that's a bit faster than last time. Yeah, last time we were... Five minutes faster than last time. So yeah. I'll we'll see, like we managed to do it pretty well when we trained, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so instead of um, slowing down, you sort of feel like you're running fairly steadily the whole way. That's it, bro. 
That was a bit of a quick one, wasn't it? Not that sweaty. It's going to be in theme. I'm not going to wear this. I'm not going to wear this. You can come through this way as well. Yep. So I've got a drink poured out there for you. And you wanted a bit of um, mm -hmm. bit of cold porridge. Don't need the jam. Yeah. And you got your gel as well. Yeah, and I need you to help me. Oh, Put yep. The seat down. Put the seat down. This, I got this seat, Dad, but it's like last time I did it, gave me a neck, a sore neck from trying to push it down. So like, sort of have to like lean. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Got all kinds of yeah, I'll probably snacks. Get you to, like, Wait, that one. Yep. So Nat's uh, first lap was a good one, about uh, a bit quicker than she was, she expected, uh, about 42, 43 minutes. So it's, I think she's going to slow, try to slow down a little bit on this one, although she has been feeling good. So good signs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! So the course for the Ultra starts at uh, Tent Village here in the middle of uh, Victoria Park and heads out uh, to um, uh, the corner of Greenhill Road and Fullerton Road and follows the border of the parklands and then uh, basically does a big loop, comes back past the Tent Village here uh, with a bit, about, a bit over 5Ks done. So. They've still got another um, short out and back after that to get the uh, 6.7 k's for each lap. And uh, so you can see people start coming through just before half an hour um, through for their first uh, 5k bit. And um, you can see there's quite a few uh, competitors coming through where um, they're sort of pacing at a similar pace to what Nat is doing. Celebration. There we are. <laughs> Going well. Don't wait too late. No, we don't stop. You can't stop. We're going to celebrate. One more time. One more time. One more time. So now that I've seen Nat uh, come through, means I've got 10 minutes or so uh, to get ready for her uh, items that she would like in the break. And um, the fact that she can come past with, with 10 minutes or so to spare means that if there's any special requests, she can let me know about that uh, before, before she comes in. So on lap two, Nat's sort of at the front of the field and uh, I guess that means that she's feeling good. Uh, the instruction was to uh, not force yourself to run slower because um, you're just using up time by doing that but to feel really comfortable and uh, make sure that she gets the walk breaks in to um, uh, make sure that she's not under too much stress. So good signs, she's obviously feeling good. There is no reward for going any quicker apart from you get a longer rest at the end. So everyone still starts the next hour all together in the same group at the start. It was hot, <laughs> a bit like last year. It, was, it wasn't It was that hot, but it was still pretty warm. And I think I was overdressed uh, because when I did my training, it was pretty chilly and I didn't want to, I didn't want to be changing outfits too often. I just wanted to wear the same thing. So I think my first mistake was that I was dressed a little bit too warm um, and got pretty hot over the first few laps. Um, 
and my heart rate was a lot higher than when I did my training runs. So I felt strong and I felt good, but I knew that I was probably pushing it a bit and I should have listened to my body and slowed down and gone back to the 10 minute breaks, um, knowing that the, uh, you know, the conditions were a bit different to what I trained in. Yeah, this one would be about 42, yeah, won't no, it? So, a little bit quicker. There you go. You're doing so well. Alright, well done, champion. So, lap three, uh, most of this lap I've been. Uh, filling up the uh, weights for the uh, gazebo because it's a fair bit of wind and a couple of casualties at the start of the uh, the lap with uh, some gusts of wind so hopefully it doesn't um hopefully it's not too windy for the runners but um seems to be okay just there was a bit of wind that, one more time, this feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free. One more time, this gathered feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free. Yeah, you can see the pink hat. One more time, this gathered feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free. One more time, this gathered feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free. One more time, this gathered feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate. Okay, so good thing about um, the race location being Victoria Park, it's only about 500 metres from uh, my office. So I've just gone in to check the mail. I knew that was uh, the level that I was expecting. So um, although it is day off for myself being self-employed, I uh, still do a little bit of work. Well done, good stuff. Yeah, a bit of a Surprise. nice appearance. Yep. <laughs> so lap four, and that's been getting in plenty of fluids along the way. It's been uh, a pineapple fizzy drink, uh, blue Powerade, some Coke, and some water. Um, so plenty of fluids each lap, and uh, I think she was requiring to go to the toilet this lap. So she's a uh, around about the middle of the field again and uh, yeah still doing fine doing really well sweetie <laughs> be cold a little bit but it's really nice they're sort of a little bit cold <laughs> Yeah, so they're about an hour, an hour and a half old, aren't they? I don't think I've ever had anyone take a video of me eating noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a big thing on YouTube, people eating food? <laughs> uh, you're meant to be relaxing. We've got 12 minutes till the start of the next one. Plenty of time to relax and get it in. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Going good? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Looking good. Keep it up. Lap six, we have got a wonderful sunset. Uh, this will be the last lap before we need uh, head torches. And uh, so we we'll need to equip with the head torch. We've also got some hot chips for, Annette, uh, for dinner for this uh, lap. She won't be able to eat many, but uh, just a few chips. The rest for me, I guess. And um, yeah, doing great. Um, so a bit after uh, 5 uh, 30 on a Friday afternoon. 
Okay, so you've had a fall, you made it. So see, they're checking in all the runners as they go through. Oh, where is Matt? There she is. Six, four, six. I need to get wiped down and stuff on it. Yep, yep. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so Nat's had a full uh, last lap, so we had to do some scrambling of cleaning up and putting Vaseline on it. But apart from that, it's the lap number seven, lap 007. So got quite a few people in the uh, 007 outfit. Yeah, so my heart rate was getting too high. I was a bit hot. And then on the fifth lap, as the sun was going down, I managed to trip over a tree branch um, in the fifth lap. And I slammed down onto my shoulder and onto my left side rather hard and was, you know, covered in dirt. And, you know, it's just that yucky feeling of falling over. I did get up and walked it off and ran the rest of the lap, even though I was you know, stinging from grazes and shoulder was quite feeling a bit sore, like I've um, jarred it a little bit by falling on it. But I was determined. I thought this can't stop me. How can I fall over on a flat course when I've done all these ultras and on, you know, really technical stuff and haven't fallen doing those events. So I was annoyed, but determined to keep going. On this lap, the temperature has really dropped, so um, Nat knows she needs to change into a long sleeve uh, running top. So that's going to be the focus of this changeover. Um, that seems to be uh, the main role of the crew is just, just to work out what needs to be done in those uh, those few minutes between um, between laps. There has been plenty of time; it's been more than 10 minutes each time, comfortably. So um, yeah, plenty of time to, to get everything done. But yeah, we're just uh, going as we can. Yeah, we are. I can see see your sparkly uh, <laughs> bow tie. There we go. Well done. Yeah, Woo well done. The thing that was lovely is there's so much camaraderie amongst the runners and. I, you know, I was getting support from people that had heard or seen me fall and were giving me their stories of when they've fallen over at events. And, you know, it, it just helped to try and just get through feeling a bit yucky and feeling a bit sore. And I was, you know, just keeping on going. And at that stage, I thought, you know, I'm still going to try and make my goal of getting to 15 laps, which was my, you know, um, goal to beat last year's 12 laps. There we go. <laughs> Definitely your slowest one. Well, I think everyone's going a lot slower. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, Lots of people talking um, about being in their last lap. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, last lap. you've passed 50Ks now. Um, yeah. Everyone's past 50Ks and yeah, there's the gel there's no fresh legs in anyone. The gel, helped. gel helped, it's good. <laughs> yeah, well that's what you wanted, a bit of a lift, so good to hear. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of the lap. Yep. Oh yeah. 
That's it's good. Hot. Yep, so it'd be a bit of a shorter turnaround, but you feel comfortable, that's the main thing. Yep, so we better get back. <laughs> yep, so a bit of a slower one, but you said you're comfortable, so. Yeah. Oh, it's just getting hard. Yeah, well, um, people who finished five minutes ago say they're really struggling. Mm. So it's, um, yeah, that's what happens when you're this far in. Anyway, what's on the menu? Um, what would you like? Drinks. Yeah, just drinks, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down the here. Unfortunately, as the night progressed, I just found that it, you know, it was earlier than usual. Um, the energy was going and I just started not to be able to run anymore. And, um, you know, on the ninth lap, I pretty much knew that that was going to be the last one. So lap number nine, uh, and that was saying it was a real mental battle, uh, last one. And uh, we only had eight minutes uh, on the turnaround. So there's a bit of a blowout in time. It looks like the time has blown out further. So it's down to the wire whether she will even um, finish this lap, but uh, we'll see how we go. She hasn't come through yet um, at the 5K in about 45 minutes. Yeah, it's a real struggle now. So you've just... Yeah, okay. So you've had a big drop off this lap. Yeah. Okay, well, just fight to the end and we'll see what you can do in the break. Just keep fighting. You got, you've got time, you just keep going. Okay, water. Two minute warning, that's it. We'll do everything we can to keep you moving forward, um, just one lap at a time. That's all you need to take it, one lap at a time, get that lap done, um, you know, and and get back to this finish line and we'll send you out for one more. So um, try try not to ring that bell if you come in with time in hand. So the rules are, for those of you unfamiliar, at Ultra Series we do things a little bit different. We make you resign yourselves. So. Um, if you want to come over and you're done and you're cooked, you need to come over and grab this off of here, bring it up and tap out. Once you've tapped out, you cannot go again. That is our little play on the rules. Even if you've come in time, as soon as you ring that bell, you're out. Um, that's just our way of doing it. Um, but we want you to come over that finish line and get going again. So it was disappointing knowing that, you know, I hadn't got to 12, which was what I did last year, but I didn't have an ideal lead in and um, there were some mistakes that I've made. Hello. You know, am I ever going to learn? Who knows? We'll see for Hi. next time. But I, you know, I really want to keep 
having a crack at these events because they're super challenging. I mean, big kudos to the winners and everyone that just goes on for days because keeping on going and not getting sore and managing your body and your fueling is really tough. So big thanks to everyone for their support. Obviously the Southern Athletic Club are amazing and John was crewing me and he was bloody amazing. <laughs> and he was even trying to get me to go out on the 10th lap and I was like crying and like, no, I'm not, I can't do any more, I need to stop. But you know, um, everyone that supported me and um, helped me just to get through another lap, it's really appreciated. And you know, I will be back trying another crack at one of these events. So. Ready? Yeah. yeah. No, she's turning 42, but we had four. We would have had. Okay, are you ready? A. I'm meant to be singing Happy um. Birthday, not blowing them out. <laughs> it's okay, we'll fly to the game. Out. <laughs> it's Charlie singing happy birthday. He's <laughs> took a deep breath to sing and then whoops. <laughs> so I think I went. Okay. No, blowing up my candle. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip! Can I play? Hooray! Hip hip! <laughs> 